Greetings friends. Today we meet the talented Spanish artist Javier Clavo. The sculptor and artist from Madrid combines the post-cubism of Daniel Vasquez Diaz, expressionism and abstraction in his painting. His works are filled with bright colors, the deepest feelings and emotions. At first, it will be difficult for us to understand the author's intention, but with each new picture, our brain will be able to distinguish between individual elements, the thoughts of the artist, and magnificent landscapes, still lives, biblical stories, and magnificent portraits of women will open before us. Painting by Javier Clavo gives a strong impetus to the brain and the development of the imagination. Who has not subscribed to the channel yet subscribe? We are waiting for a lot of interesting things. Let's go! Javier Clava was born in Madrid, Spain in 1918. In his works, he demonstrates a special vision of reality through a picture of chromatic violence and undulating rhythms in the drawing. His work is an example of a personal perception of reality, filled with his own artistic feelings. Javier Clavo should be described as an expressionist artist whose use of color evokes emotions and the deepest feelings. Reality is rethought in a personal way, but at the same time does not lose its naturalistic support. He was a student of Daniel Vasquez Diaz. Javier Clavo is a self-taught artist and sculptor who spends his youth painting and attends the Circulo de Bellas Arts, which will become a real school for the artist. He also studied with Goya and El Greco, their brush strokes and use of color. In 1930, he moved with his family to Valencia, where he had his first solo exhibition at the Sala Vizcano Gallery. In 1935, he visited an exhibition of Picasso's paintings called Center of Construction, which made a great impression on him, and he was influenced by his painting for some time. An eclectic artist, he considers freedom of reference to the canvas to be the highest principle. At his conference in Zaragoza in 1951, he declared, I rebel against the word academy and artistic discipline. He was also interested in wall painting, considering the artists of the Italian Quattrocento to be his true teachers. In the 40s, he returned to Madrid. Here, in his first work, he focused on the depiction of imaginary cars and at the same time created scenery for the film artist. Before leaving for Italy, the country where he lived for almost 10 years, in 1950, he exhibited at the emblematic Clan Gallery in Madrid. After moving to Italy in 1951, he studied with the Roman painter Seti, who introduced him to the technique of fresco painting. Also in Italy, he became acquainted with the mosaic technique in Ravenna. Before returning to Spain, he made an incursion into the expressive realm of abstraction, where he progressed and reached incredible heights. Clavet was a prolific painter who also had a career as a sculptor, influenced by Goya, Picasso, El Greco, Matisse and Bonnard, just a quintet of painting geniuses from all eras. He repeatedly repeated the variegated landscapes of Toledo, the city, which he embodied in compositions with bright colors and intricate architecture, with its historical buildings and sloping alleys. In his works, the legacy of Huelva Vasquez Diaz and a certain mystery and mystery covered by expressionist and post-cubist features can be traced. Toledo has been the focus of painting, especially Spanish art, since ancient times, when El Greco consecrated it as an aesthetic and religious enclave forming a space in which all visual, historical, and cultural perceptions converge, as well as a refuge where you can get enough, a sense of adventure, meditation, and memories. No wonder the Spanish artist Javier Clavo took this aerial perspective to trace his pictorial biography from a dimension he chose to define and express beyond its physical postulates. In this city, he paid much attention to light, which pours out visual lyrics that greatly increase the value of our gaze. Toledo, in the hands of artists like this one, always reveals something more to us, despite centuries, events and lives, stones and temples, relics and history, traces of ruins and trophies. In the 1960s, he joined the Estampa popular group, 
in which his realist work was put at the service of the social criticism characteristic of its components. His style combines post-cubism, expressionism, and abstraction. In his works, there is a clear personal interpretation of reality, always far from currents and avant-garde. Paintings by Javier Clava were exhibited in the main halls of the Museums of Modern Art. In 1990, the Villa de Madrid Cultural Center honored him with an award, an anthology that had no critical reflection, except in a Madrid newspaper. Recently, the artist's works have become more and more popular. They can be purchased at many sites and auctions. Collectors and art connoisseurs of Javier Clavo are trying to collect and restore his cultural heritage. So the University of Córdoba, UCO, restored one of the works of the Spanish artist. The restoration consisted of deep cleaning and reintegration of existing gaps in the pictorial surface. The large size of the work and its location have so far made it difficult to restore. Following restoration, the painting was moved to a multi-purpose facility on the Ravenel's campus. Javier Clavo completed this work in 1970. Author of personal expressionist figuration and cultivator of numerous techniques in addition to painting, such as sculpture, engraving, mosaic and illustration, Javier Clavo represents the image of a total, multidisciplinary artist with excellent technique. His importance in abstraction was initially downplayed, so the work restored by the University of Córdoba enhances his important legacy that informal painting has left in the history of contemporary Spanish art. He saw the world differently, with colors and poetry. It was Javier Clavo, the Madrid painter who, according to the historian Alberto del Rio, transformed the Church of Santa Barbara de Lorraine's into the Sistine Chapel of Northern Spain's religious artistic avant-garde. Petunia Clavo, one of three daughters of a painter and sculptor, remembers him as a very affectionate father, but also complicated. He was also a man of inexhaustible thirst for study. He constantly read, came home from the paint shop and began to draw, read, did not rest, recall Petunia. Art accompanied him to the foot of the grave, and he died thinking of flowers, which was his obsession. When he arrived in Asturias to carry out work in Lorraine's and other orders in Gijon, he had been married for 12 years without children. And it was at the time when he was painting in Avila's that his wife became pregnant. From a very young age, she taught art and literature to her three daughters and chose flower names for all three. Petunia Clavo, a pilgrim to the places where her father's works are scattered, felt in the Church of Lorraine's as if she had entered his workshop. You see the reflection of his world, his paint, his bulls. It's like you're in his studio and emotions take over. In Avila's, Clavo brought together a whole cluster of his work. Fresco, stained glass, mosaics, and the way of the cross, which I find impressive. In this latest work, he emphasized how, with the help of black and white mosaics, one can create a sense of depth and volume, similar to sculpture. In total, Clavo left 400 meters of paint in Lorraine's. It seems impossible to paint so many frescoes at the same time, said the parish priest Jose Maria Murias. Proud of the church, he takes care of like the apple of his eye. In addition to the religious message, in the work of Clavo slips a mysterious reading associated with the spirituality of the author. For example, the absence of symbols traditionally associated with the apostles, or the use of real faces for their characters. Look, that angel over there is a girl who is alive and is going to come to the lecture today, Murius pointed out to Petunia, pointing to the cute face of one of the figures. Clavo's signature is present in almost all the works of Lorraine's. Also, some works done by Javier Clavo are in Zaragoza, Córdoba, Santiago de Compostela, and Mexico. What the artist regretted at the end of his life was that some of the works in Madrid were forgotten and even destroyed. The mosaics in the Senate are covered, including those at the airport, he said. Artist and sculptor Javier Clavo died in Madrid on May 24, 1994.
with you was the Touch Art Channel and the work of the Spanish artist Javier Clavo. Don't forget to subscribe to be in our community of like-minded people and art connoisseurs. Thank you.